Yeah. Hello, everybody. So, I haven't done a stream in quite a bit. Uh, hold on, I gotta adjust the volume levels and stuff. But yeah. So, I've not done a stream in quite a bit, but I figured, you know, what is a good time to stream? Well, why not reacting to the announcement of my favorite game, you know? Yeah, hopefully everything works fine, because, yeah, I haven't done this in a while. Not bitches! Yeah, also I got a friend on the voice chat, so... It's gonna be the best thing. Uh, two it's minutes to go. Sorry, what? Two minutes I'm to go. Have... Yep, I'm gonna have to... wait. Hold on, can I just watch... I mean, I'm watching through your stream, but I'm just sitting here thinking like... Hmm, and what if I... what if I watch it for myself? I mean, you could do that. Yeah, that sounds like an actually smart thing to do. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you think we'll see? I mean, obviously, probably DLC 2 and the Switch release day announcement, but anything else? And 30 seconds to go. And of course Amazon Echo reminded me. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Oh, there's music already. Okay. Cat. 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 Yakuza. <laughs> Metro something? Wait, Hack Kid's literally a cat. What? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is this? Uh. Let me open the stream chat. Um, Who do you work for? Ooh, that voice. Anyone? Well, I can't have you running around interfering with my jewel business. Jesus. So, you work for me now. Are you trying to play a trick on me? No, I'm not, I swear! I never lay upon your jewelry! Then why did I find your cat hair on it? <laughs> Jesus! This one's freaking intense. Let that be you. Okay. I mean, yeah, the platforming shit looks really damn good in this. It's like platforming across train, moving trains. And you bring me more. It's a simple arrangement. Now be on your way. We are throwing cash. <laughs> well, I guess Hackett's rich now. I guess. Uh, <laughs> smug bat.
10 new time pieces. All I gotta say is I love the outfit. It's like school jacket with cat ears. Wait, stickers? You can spray stickers now on the walls? What is this, Overwatch? Oh, wait, you collect them. But <laughs> seriously, like, stickers? Okay, what do stickers give you? Oh, I guess you just use them for photo mode. You some of those stickers- Oh, wait, there actually is! Like, you get reaction stuff, huh. I wonder if the, the online co-op rumor is true, then. Because it wouldn't really make sense to have, like, a, you know, react to, you know, talk to people button with sti stickers and shit, you know? If yeah. he wasn't talking to anyone else. <laughs> Virtual boy! Okay, yeah, those were mods. I remember those. Roomy factory. It's so, yeah, the the these are all the curated. mods that they curated. Because yeah. that Roomy factory one, and I'm pretty sure is too. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, there's Bo Kid. What are we doing? Wait. Oh, shit! Yes, online! Oh, oh, wait, there's like 50 Atkins! <laughs> wait, 50? Literally 50! Well, that's great! So, Tetris 99, now we got Hack Kid 50! <laughs> it's literally out of town battle royale, basically, oh god. <laughs> This is freaking great. <laughs> All smug dancing. God. Wait, May 10th, pre-order now, $6.99. Free for all Kickstarter backers, so it doesn't look like they're doing the same, you know, free for, you know, first day thing. And also, it doesn't mention it, the online thing is also part of the paid DLC, because it wasn't last time with the co-op, so... Merch? Ah, oh, yes! Plushies, too? Oh, my God. Well, then. <laughs> Wait, tune in April 27 for a special live sneak peek. Okay! <laughs> Okay, so yeah, definitely not what I was expecting. I mean, yeah, DLC 2 but, and the online co-op thing, but like, no Switch release date at all. That's one thing. And then like, yeah. How it's just like, out, out for everything I could have imagined about the DLC, a uh, hack kid as a cat beating up people to bat pretty much on moving trains. Never in a million years. And then, yeah, 50 players. I figured, okay, yeah, online co-op. It's gonna be, like, four people max. So, uh, yeah, that was, um, pretty interesting. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up, because, I mean, I knew it was gonna be pretty short, but... Yeah, only about yeah. 11 minutes I've been live, so, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I could get off here. I guess. Best stream, 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Mwah. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I know what I'm going to be streaming next if I do end up streaming again. Going to be streaming uh, on DLC. <laughs> Well, if I acquire it, I might join you. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't even think I know 50 people who own this game. <laughs> well, you know at least one, so that, that that's well, already... Well, I mean, I, I definitely know more than just you, obviously, because there's you, um, let's see, one of the streamers I mod for, another streamer friend. So, yeah, it's like, I know a few people, I just definitely don't know 50. Yeah. 50s a bit, but I mean it's okay because the uh, the the concept is there. So like, 
you know? Well, I mean, yeah, obviously. I highly doubt at, that many people are going to go all the way with 50. Yeah, unless you're, like, a big-time streamer. Yeah, you're, I, you're ob- I just realized, people like Failboat stream this game. I wonder how that's going to go. Yeah, I don't like Failboat, personally, but that's my personal opinion. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind his, like, you know, like, actual, like, reaction stuff, but, like, you know, like, his community, you know, yeah. No, nah, that's not so much. That's not so much. I, I think he's a little bit on the corny side, on my opinion. Yeah. But, but again, that's my opinion. Well, yeah, I mean, different tastes for different people. Some people prefer that. I don't know. But, yeah. yeah. But still, like, just imagine, like, being a streamer with, like, thousands of viewers, and you just got a whole. And you got a nonstop queue of 50 hat kids. Oh, or, or 50 bow kids. Well, yeah, or 25 of each, or whatever combination. Yeah. I do like I do like the the um what was I going to say? Uh I like I like the curated uh, uh, items. Yeah, I was about to say I was honestly thinking there might be more considering last time I'm pretty sure there was a lot more that they added. And this time it's really just essentially two mods. Like cuz the both those filters were from the same mod and then the let's see Ruby Factory exactly. Time Rift was another one. It's like last Wait, time they they had a lot of different things. Is it on YouTube now? Uh yeah, it should be. Uh Okay, I'm going to go back into your stream and uh we can both check that shit out together cuz that's how things. Uh yeah, let me look real quick. Assuming, assuming you didn't just shut the, the stream down. No, I, I still got up, and yeah, it's up already. No, I, I still got up, and yeah. It's, okay, I, I, um, I can, I can hear the echo in the back already. Okay, uh, l- let me go ahead and uh, change the stuff on screen to the video. Sure. You take your time. And it's there. Okay, so uh, minimize like the speed of it. Yeah, that's it. I'm full screen in the window. Because we're going Smash Brothers leaks uh, levels of uh, nitpicky bullshit. Okay. And go ahead and start. Okay. So just like yeah. right away, like I just love that artwork. Yeah, yeah. I like that artwork too. Uh, did you minimize the thing? Like I asked you. Well, yeah. Let's say I mean like the video is full screen and stuff. So I mean. No, not 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 the full oh. screen. I mean. The- feed of the thing. Like, I don't know what you're talking about by feed. Like, you mean the bar at the bottom? Okay, hold on. Uh, Go into the little squ- um, squirrel? Why was I going to say squirrel? Into the cog. Oh. The cog that says H to D. Yeah. Should say speedo. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so slow it down. Yeah. To at least okay. half speed. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're going to lo- launch this, like, <laughs> two nerds. Yeah, and, like, I love that design. Up oh, and somebody's all- in my chat's already pre ordered. Hey, Shockburn. Nice. But yeah, I what mean, do you think about the name? And I also just realized it's Nya, like cat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nyakuza Metro. Uh, God damn it, developers! I, I'm not. I'm not really into pre-ordering, but uh, this, this, this is content that is worth it. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, we already know the game is good. Like, so they can't really make it worse by having the, the DLC. You know, like. Yeah. It's like yeah, I could I... see see not ordering like the game that you know, like before it came out, but like you know, yeah. pre-ordering a DLC of a game you already love. I could see that. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm not saying against that. I just. Again, I'm I'm European, so it's like yeah. pre-orders are like, hey, could you please kindly not perhaps. Yeah. But that's again me. That's that, that I'm a Euro. Yeah. But yeah, I I love the pose hackers, and they're just squatting like Russian Slav style with a bat on shoulder. <laughs> mm-hmm. So shall we proceed? Yeah. I like the gangster uh, hat kid though. Or, yeah. What the Nyak kid? No. Yeah. Fucking Ganondorf ass looking. Yeah. Thing I find funny though is like they she's got a mask, whatever, with the face on it. Like you almost think yeah. like doesn't she basically do that face already with the smug dance? Like why do you need the mask? Uh, aesthetic. 
But yeah, like, I love this scenery. Like, it's yeah, like, it screams, you know, like, um, like, post, like, uh, yeah, I can't think of the word. I w well, not post-apocalyptic, but well, definitely... Not post-apocalyptic, I wasn't trying to say that, but, um, uh... God, like, kind of, kind of like Big Hero 6 and that kind of stuff, you know? It's like that futuristic kind of vibe. It's like futuristic, but also kind of 80s retro at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, like, kind of like a cyberpunk thing. Virginia. Cyberpunk, that was the word I was trying to think of, yeah. I don't I know what like that blanked, but yeah. I like the cat train. Well, yeah, and it also screams, like, very Japanese, too. Even down to the writing looks, you know, kind of Japanese-like. Well, I mean, I mean, Nyakuza is kind of a Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. I mean, I think that's what they were going for. I mean, it's... They're basically giving in to the weeb. I mean, no problems there. Although, then again, the sign on this shop thing kind of is French. So that's interesting. So it's like French business name, but Japanese kind of aesthetic and stuff. It's a front. Yeah. It got it. God damn it! It has to be a front. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add that emote into the chat because I haven't streamed in a while. Oops. Dad man, no. But yeah, I mean, dad but, cat, no. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I l just love the look of that villain. Just like oh, the yeah, that, the that, giant. That. Like curled, you know, like whiskers and stuff, and the like, yeah. pretty much pimp outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And unlike most of the other villains, because I'm pretty sure this one is going to be a boss. Yeah. Unlike most of the other yeah. bosses, you already know she's going to just dupe you. Yeah. I can't well, if you were like pet kids, but you get the idea. Yeah. Nah. Well, yeah, I'm about saying, I, I love the, like, her voice, too. It, it's like, it's a perfect voice for, like, a sneaky kind of villain. You know? Yeah, it is. I like the head of Chromium, too. Also, yeah, well, yeah, and also, Hackett's face just so freaking shocked right there. Mm-hmm. Also, Scooter Badge, best badge. Sonic, Sonic Hat, best hat. Yeah. Are you trying? Okay, I really like that outfit. The, the, oh, wait, the, I, I only just noticed that. Wait a second. That's that's a new uh, official expression, by the way. Yeah. To... Yeah, but I'd say that's the whole, like, anime kind of sweat thing. They even went that far. Well, well no, more like a. Fi more like a. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, I can't think of this. Exactly, but, like, that is literally, like, an anime expression right there. It is, it is. It's like they're going full on weep, and you never go full on weep. <laughs> but it went too far. Yeah. Play a trick on me. Yeah. No, I'm not. I swear. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of that voice. <laughs> I like how basic they basically implied that the villain just killed a, a minion. Did I find yeah. Was thrown away, and that was like. <laughs> yeah. Also, that sound effect. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Glory exploded, they're dead. Don't yeah, they dead. They dead AF. Hey, go full weep or go home. But yeah, I just love this idea of platforming on moving trains so you got that bit of momentum too. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Also, yeah, it's like this is gonna be a big area to explore. Like I almost wonder oh, if this is yeah. almost kind of equivalent to like the free roam in Alpine Skyline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Hmm. But say, what are we collecting there? Uh, okay, let's just scroll back. Yeah, but say five, ten seconds. Yeah, but say like the blue orbs, which is not I in the game currently. I think they're like they're still normal orbs, but I mean not necessarily something, but they're like linked. Yeah, like, I'm thinking like homing. homing yeah, maybe. Yeah. But but yeah, what I was thinking is like it almost seems it is like a per level kind of gimmick thing, so it could just be kind of similar to how like you know, and um, uh, what's the word? I mean, in the Battle of Birds, like you collect like the the heads, whatever, to get extra points and shit. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, it could just be a per level gimmick, you know, kind of thing. So it's like mm. they they look kind of electricity. So I'm trying to figure out how that would you know work in there. It's like maybe you're trying to collect something to like power up the place or something. Yeah, that's. 
That makes sense, I think, because there's not much else that can be done. Well, yeah, and you can see there, they're linked. Yeah. But what what is their what is their purpose? Are they just regular orbs? Are they special orbs? Yeah. Because that's because that's that's I can't tell you that about that. But yeah, and what's interesting is, like, right now in the video, they're just showing collecting them one by one, but that's kind of weird that they would be linked if they're just collecting them one by one, so, like, what you said about, like, kind of like a Sonic homing tech might actually kind of make sense. And they could mm -hmm. just be saving that for, a, you know, the live, you know, showing on the 27th or whatever. You seem talented in finding them. I pay you, and you bring also, them. all that jewelry in the case. But I love their money bombs. We're literally just throwing away exploding money because we got uh, that much. Hold on, did did she did she not take uh? Did she not take the uh the um, timepiece in exchange for the money though? That's what it looked like. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, I also like this allegory: throw money at your problems to make them go away. Yeah, pretty much. It's like she's rich enough that she just can throw money away, literally. Also, snow angels in a pile of money. It's like literally becoming Scrooge McDuck there. Wait, what's what's the face? That's a oh, that's a cat face. Yeah. Yeah, like essentially what it looks like is they're trying trying to blend in with the so they don't suspect her as not being a cat or something. Maybe I don't know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I love that. Just snow angels in a pile of money. Yeah. Let someone... She did a lot of Rosebud. Yeah. Not a little... But also, something I just realized, isn't this technically, like, the first new weapon in the game? Technically, yeah. Yeah, because, like, pretty much every other stage before, we just used the umbrella. Like, we may have powered it up with, like, badges and stuff to be, like, that, that gun thing. But, like, yeah, but it, was it was still the umbrella. And this is, like, just a straight-up baseball bat. And you get a new idle animation for it too. Yeah, yeah, just maybe just holding the bat behind your back, smug. Yeah, maybe this whole thing, this new bat, means they actually yeah. put the weapon selector to use now. Yeah. Also, this like those giant ice, you know, like pads. Yeah, that, yeah. I like it. Yeah. And I mean, I, I think the weapons like might have actually been a curated mod, so who knows? Maybe they actually Whoa. will add that as one. Go back. Let's say go back. Yeah, about 10, 15 seconds. Like, past this. A little more. Okay, Le just leave it there. Okay. Okay. Oh, did did oh yeah, latency. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, did you did you press play? Uh, not yet. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, do it. Oh wait. Okay, so there's the energy thing. Whatever. Yeah. yeah I, I actually went back too far, but uh, yeah. Nice. So oh, yeah, that's yeah. why we're collecting a hundred of those, or there's already a hundred in there. No, no. Maybe those blue orbs are are the reason why you have to to, to like the big. Power thing, I can't fucking English apparently. Yeah. The big power thing is the the reason why you're grabbing all these blue balls. Blue well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you're grabbing the balls to, to get to that hundred number, or you already have a hundred. I them think and you, we yeah. need to maybe discuss the nature of this conversation because I said blue balls, you said grabbing balls. Well, I think we should stop. Well, okay, yeah. While we're behind. <laughs> we are very mature. I mean, yeah, to be honest, we do this all the time in any stream my am in, so... Fuck it. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so you got a timepiece slowed in there, so it looks like you have to collect a hundred of those saints and it'll lower down, and then you can get the timepiece inside. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> yeah. Also, I just realized... She literally jumped straight into there while there's still electricity going on. She's shocked. Yeah, she's just dead. Yeah, she would be, but... Again, also, that jump looks really. horrible to try to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because this, this map looks complicated as shit, but then again, free roll? Yeah. Well, yeah, and I mean, to be fair, it's a DLC, so I mean, it's kind of be expected. Also, they just showed the time stop app, which, you know, 
That's interesting because it wasn't actually used in any of the normal levels, and they added to DLC 1 and then backtracked and removed it because people complained. Yeah. So they actually showed another challenge that requires it, so... They might actually need it, because yeah. otherwise the time stop is uh, an 11th hour superpower. Yeah. Back up like 5, 10, or 6. Okay. 5, five or 10 seconds. Plus. Plus. Bink. Yeah. That good? Or... Okay. So, yeah, that do that's good. So why are these two guys here, and why do they take had kids... Timepiece. Yeah, who... Yeah, I don't know, like... And the thing is, like, yeah, it's clear that this... Is clear that this villain has, like, henchmen, basically. Oh, yeah. So it's, like... It's it's interesting, because, like, the only other equivalent thing would be Sancho at the moment, right? Because I don't... Every other, like, kind of villain in the game, whatever, doesn't actually have minions, you know, essentially. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I do find kind of interesting. That, I mean, of course they're going that direction because everybody fucking is obsessed with Snap Snatcher. So yeah. So it's like clearly they're basically trying to make a Snatcher too, basically. Snatcher two electric boogaloo. Or yeah. Cat. Yeah. I mean, the internet likes the cats. Yeah. Cat and time fans like Snatcher. I mean, I think it's a fair assessment. Also, I just kind of realized, and so that like rotating screen thing up there. It looks like they're trying to replicate the PlayStation then, almost. Perhaps. Perhaps. Because, I mean, it's like triangle, square, whatever, and it's like blue and pink, or technically kind of the colors of the buttons. <laughs> yeah, two out of four. Yeah. yeah. Also, it looked like green was about to flash, and that's, you know... But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's another... That one looks pretty simple. Yeah. Uh... And yeah, the sticker thing, I love that WoW one. That just looks adorable. Yeah, I like I like the stickers. I like the yeah. stickers. They're good stickers. I don't know if they're going to be uh if they're going to be noticed by the arrow map yeah. bad. Well yeah. Word, so. Yeah, but like essentially it seems like these are mostly just there for like, you know, completionist. Not true, but... Because, I mean, it doesn't really look like they add much functionality-wise. I mean, it's basically just, you know, oh, yeah, you can put stickers on photo mode, which, I mean, I guess, you know, is kind of cool, but... And and then, of course, the thing that comes later about them actually showing it as, like, a wheel of, like, things you could, like, tell people, you know, and stuff, so it's like... Which, that makes sense for what comes after that, of course, being the online. Yeah. So, I mean, no, it no. seems like some that this is something that's, you know, not really needed, but... Oh, wait a second, I'm trying to see what wait, did it say there. A new sticker has been locked, used with left analog stick and the photo badge. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, so. But yeah, so it seems like this one, that's like, yeah, they basically, they only put it in just because online, mostly. And the photo is just an extra benefit. Yep. You can put put the badges on on the bat, which is okay. Also, that cat looks so sad. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think you, you'll get uh, TOS if I keep going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that cool bad sticker there. Also, oh, the popping oh, out oh, eyes. That's yeah, great. The fucking gouging <laughs> eyes. It's like... Mm? It's like when you see the D. When you see the, t- the, the time P. Also, yeah, these outfits, whatever. Whoa, hold on. Yeah, uh, that's a pause, okay. So that's pause, mustache girl, literally. Pause, pause, pause per 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 also. Yeah, that's definitely mustache girl. Yeah. You okay, that to, one. I'm no. not sure what it's trying to emulate. Like, just green, basically. Hmm. I have no clue. But then again, I don't have the hat. Yeah. But what's the next one? Okay, so a striped kind of outfit. Uh, see, uh, this one I don't know what it's referencing, but I'm sure it's referencing something. Well, yeah, but say because a lot of the ones they added last DLC even had a lot of references too, because like there was a, literally a banjo kazooie outfit. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, that one just looks kind of horrible, to be honest. <laughs> that looks like MS Paint Hat Kid. Yeah, it's just a lot of mismatching colors. Um, yeah, sounds about right. Okay, yeah, this one, blue and red, pretty decent. 
Uh, this could be an, uh, what could it be? I mean, to be fair, some of these probably are more just, you know, references and not, I mean, not references, they're just, you know, straight up color picks, but, you know. Yeah, colors for the sake of it. But that, but that yeah. Green. Okay, I like how this that one, the cape has though. stars on it. Mm hmm. That's like they actually gave a design to the cape instead of just, oh, you know. Oh, wait, this one, I think, I think this one might be referencing My Little Pony. I think. Eh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Don't ask me. I have not watched My Little Pony. Yeah, but say, hey, yeah, don't bring up brony shit here. Hey, listen, dang about that life, okay? <laughs> Just, you know, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, thing. so green and yellow, you know, and I would pretty standard kind of thing. Green and yellow. Yeah. I don't know where I've seen that before. But okay, okay, that one, yeah, that one I actually kind of like, where it was just, like, two different shades of reddish-orange. Yeah, I like that. If the cake were yellow, I'd say it was Okay, bad paper. this is badass. Got I mean, full-on flames. I mean, the flames are a bit, you know, cool, edgy for the 12-year-old, but then again, it's hat kids. So well, I mean, yeah, but, I mean, it's kind of a classic, like, you know, like, motorcycle vehicle kind of design, so, I mean... I guess it kind of works if you're a badass with a bat on your back. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that one that one definitely looks like the Ruby mod. Yeah, that one looks like the Ruby mod for sure. Like, Yeah, the only difference is the legs. I'm pretty sure it weren't red. Yeah, yeah, just the, just the legs. Legs ain't ready. Okay, so then we got a pattern on the actual outfit. That's kind of cool. Still don't know what this one is referencing, but it yeah. looks like an old movie. Yeah, like, I, I like the pattern on the outfit, but the cape color and the pants color are kind of... Yeah, it's a bit... Yeah. It's like, the gray is like, okay, maybe, you know, it's not the biggest, like, my first choice, but I could live with that, but the brown just clashes so much. The brown is a choice. It was not a good choice. Yeah, and it's it's basically, like, exactly poop brown, which is bad. I like how Shockburn just basically kept quiet for the rest of the thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, who knows? Maybe they left. You never know. I'm too lazy. Okay, to this one looks cool because it's got a gradient from the looks of it. Yeah, true, but it's a bit... I mean, yeah, the color scheme is still kind of eh, but I mean, like, just the fact that there's a gradient is kind of cool. Yeah, gradient's still like... That was fucking nothing. Yeah. Okay, and this one definitely has to be a reference on, like, Probably is. I just don't know which one it is. Yeah, because that seems like such a specific design for something they just came up with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I mean, and also like the green legs just makes her look like an alien. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of an alien. To begin well, with. yeah, I mean, yeah. To be fair, it technically is an alien, but like you know, like green, you know, like monster alien, not you know, cute child. Boy. Okay, so yeah. Pink and white. Pretty good combo again. The brown pants. But... Uh, I mean... Eh. Eh. Okay, eh. this one is amazing. Sweater, striped socks, and then like the slippers. Yeah, yeah. That, that one is very much snug as a bug. Yeah. Uh, that, that one is the one that you want to wear... When it's, like, raining outside and you just want to stay yeah. hobos. But yeah, what I find interesting, though, is, like, one of the most popular costumes in the um, modding community is the pajama one. So I'm surprised it kind of almost went more with, like, a sweater thing instead of a pajama. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then it's, like, yeah, brown and yellow. <laughs> it's not, but I'm going to pretend that it is. I mean, okay, then we got like a waterish kind of look. Yeah, that one is Rocket Knight? Question mark? Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, also, I don't know either. Also, I did just notice whatever that the badges are placed in between the ears on the hat. Oh yeah. Pretty neat. Okay, this outfit looks kind of cool just because kind of glitchy looking. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, the colors definitely don't cl clash that much. Yeah, that that feels like it's one of the early VGA uh, yeah. palettes. Palette? Yeah. Palette. yeah. Well, yeah, but I'd say it kind of reminds me of CGA, yeah. 
uh, a thing I noticed. I think the bat might come with the mask, or rather, the mask comes with the bat. Well, yeah, that's probably what it is. But yeah, because because if you notice you, the po the po the pockety hoodie uh the pockety hoodie the hoodie outfit uh was showcased with the mask, but oh. here we have regular regular ass uh outfit, but with mask, which is like okay, yeah. But yeah, and I, w I do actually kind of like that hair color. I mean, it's a bit over the top with the neon kind of blue, whatever, but I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> Works. Yeah, although honestly, I think I like, like, uh, better, uh, what's it, the Breathing Sea mod, whatever, how it has, like, actual, like, see-through kind of water with that same kind of color. Mm hmm Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's like, that color looks really good with that, with it being more see-through, but just, like, a pure, like, you know, matte color, just a bit too much, but it's, it's fine, you know. Yeah, it works, it works. Also, this. This is amazing. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, but I say this was also technically a mod, so yeah, so there actually is a few more mods as the skins, but yeah. Yeah, then again, curation. That yeah, I mean, everyone... I, yeah, I will say this one is a bit hard to see, but I mean, it's badass looking. You can't deny that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wireframe mode? Mwah. Yeah. And but say I know the mod had a bow kid one too, so that should look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the thing that's kind of interesting. They're not showing a single thing with Bo Kid wearing these costumes, even though Bo Kid can basically wear every single costume Hack Kid can. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm just waiting for the... Also, there's the, the smug dance. I'm oh, wait, the, the, the hats. I just realized that. I just, I just, I'm just waiting for the costume for the costume swap mod to be an actual thing, though. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's the cat ears we've been seeing the whole video. We got a burger. Berg. 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 Okay, so there's a beret, it looks like. With the glasses, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's Nerd kid. kid. It's Nerd it's kid. kid. Yeah. Okay, so then we got a baseball-style hat. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, it's got the writing on there. Yeah, yeah. Headphones. Big cushiony oh, oh. headphones. Big cushion. Yeah. Big cushion. Okay, and then it's like we got a space helmet. Yeah, well, I mean, understandable. Cause, yeah, I mean... and like with the chat mic and shit, too. <laughs> also, yeah, what are we doing here? Okay, yeah, here's the retro badge. Which, like I said, yeah, this and the next one were also one mod. It's like this one's supposed to be Game Boy and the other one's supposed to be Virtual Boy. Yeah, yeah. Which is I mean, interesting I because like there's a game that came out here recently called, uh, oh, what is it, Sun Oberdin? Mm hmm And that's a VR game, but that also has the same exact, you know, like, Game Boy Green aesthetic. So it's like, this almost looks like Hack It got put into that game. It's like, I just love the look of this. It's like, would I want to play the game as this? Eh. It's it's a it's a design decision. Yeah, it, it's a bit hard to see, you know. But I mean, like for screenshots and stuff, that would look badass. Yeah, yeah, it works. And then yeah, retro VR. I I love the pun there. Yeah, it's a horrible pun, but I love it. Yeah, and it's like time to hurt my eyes or what? Why play in time? <laughs> it's like, yeah, so here's the Rumby Factory, whatever one. That's a new time rift. Yeah, because this mod actually looked really damn good. It's basically like the backstory of how Rumby became Rumby your friend. Did. So, yeah. Yawning. Also, I love the box. The, the best cleaning friend. Insanely cute and can beep and boop. Many fun cleaning modes. Much better than the bargain brand. Yawning, it never sleeps. I'd say, give Rumby some time to rest. Mm -hmm. It's like, don't be, go full on Sakurai. <laughs> That's mean. Yeah. Also, yeah, exploding Rumbies, it looks like. It looks like evil. Aggressive Rumby. So, I wonder, like, I haven't actually played this one yet, because I'm pretty sure it was only released as curated, and you can't play curated mods. I wonder if maybe, like, the backstory is that, like, they, like, they are the only good Rumby or something like that. Like, and every other one was, like, evil. 
I don't know. I have not yeah. played that. Well, yeah, I said, I don't think anybody has. Also, yeah, here's the amazing bombshell announcement, of course. And I will say, this is not the direction I was expecting them to go, obviously, with Call of Because, I mean, beside the 50 player thing, like, I figured, okay, you have Hack Kid, Bo Kid, maybe they were throwing Mustache Roll. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that too. And then maybe they would throw in, like, a fourth character, like, a fourth new character or something, but no, it's literally just or, or, 50 or Hack Kids and Bo Kids. <laughs> Yeah, so you can just see a lot of them. Yeah, but I wasn't looking at the chat the second this showed up. I wish I was, because the badges and the reactions were probably, like, crazy. Also, yeah, yeah we get to see a bit of the level names there, the new act. Mm-hmm. Pink Paul Station, Yellow Overpass Manhole, Green Clean Green Manhole, Green manhole. Pink Paul Manhole, over Yellow Overpass Station, the rest are blocked. And yeah, it's free roam, exactly like I thought. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's literally, you know, Alpine Skyline, but, you know, Japan, basically. Yeah, also, also not her. <laughs> yeah, also, I just noticed, those are all the stickers that they ha have, whatever, over top of the um, yeah. starting soon that, screens. That, that could just be avatars, though. Well, I mean, on. yeah, but like, I mean, yeah, it could be actual avatars, like your Steam profile, you know. Yeah. Well, like, That's that would cool. actually be cool if that was the case of, like, you win game and you picked one of them, because, like, some of those are literally just the artwork of Hack Kid from those, but the other ones are legit the stickers up here in the top corner when you play co-op. Okay, it. so, yeah. <laughs> also, I just love these, just a bajillion bouncing Hack Kids all over the place. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you thought one Hack Kid was too much to handle, now you got 50. <laughs> Mustache Kid must be. Yeah, also, yeah, you can see there's a scoring system up there. It only oh, yeah, shows the top five, but then there's all the other people back there. Oh, I, I guess. So, so it could be either like a race or it could be like a co op thing. Yeah, so that so yeah, essentially the way I see this is like there might be multiple modes. There might be co op and, you know, just standard co op, and there might be kind of some more like Battle Royale kind of shit, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like how Hack Kid on the right ha still has the bat idle animation. Yeah, but yeah, and then you can see the scoring mode here. It's got like a bar thing. So, mm -hmm. what I mean, what, what I think here is like with them doing a bar kind of thing like this. Like, what if it progresses over multiple levels? That would be pretty cool. So I mean, the score like it clearly showed it just went up by like eighty points by collecting the timepiece. So it's like, yeah, essentially it could go over like the entire playthrough essentially in like. The higher score means he collected the most time pieces or something. Yeah. Also, that one just bounced out of nowhere. Yeah, it did. It's like, <laughs> it just stuck there at the bottom and all of a sudden, like, boom. Also, yeah, there's a spectate button down there, so it looks like you can just spectate people playing. Okay. That's good, that's good. Okay, yeah, so now they're showing it in the uh, subcon, of course. Yeah, meaning, meaning it's not exclusive to just... Well, yeah, I mean, that's to be obvious, it's like... Also, Bokid's got a beach ball, I don't think that was in the normal game. No, I don't think it was. Yeah. You have snapped all your things! Yeah. So, I, I got a question, like, I wonder if they're trying to put any kind of, like, story element of why there's just suddenly 50 hackers. <laughs> ah, probably not. It's just like, does she have a cloning machine? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh wait, um, I, I realize what the balls are from now. They're from the last DLC. Because they were in no. the pool. Because right, the, right. the one hack is holding the snatcher ball. Which was in there, and that, yeah. And it's like okay. bajillion scooters and stuff too. Yeah. And just all doing snow angels and the money, of course. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty great. I think this is part and of And then, the yeah, all the smug dancing with different outfits. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I will say this actually does confirm in our mod because I'm pretty sure like Bokid stuff wasn't actually diable last time. Oh yeah, they weren't. Yeah, and that was in our mod was diable Bokid. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, because I like she could wear the other outfits, but yeah, it wasn't diable. So yeah. That's good. Good. I like that. Now, which one of these hat kids is the canon one? Yeah, that's... yeah. But yeah, 
But yeah, it is interesting to note, they specifically put Steam on the online side, which means it's probably not coming to the GOG version. Oh, probably. Because that's saying, like, GOG uh, does have an online thing, but I guess they just didn't feel like implementing their online. Yeah, true. But the fact it does yeah. say PC for the L1 clearly does mean, yeah, the GOG people are, are at least getting the DLC, you know. Hey, it's not getting into the Epic Game Store, so that's good enough for me. Yeah. But yeah, I will say I do wonder how they're going to handle the online thing, like, because... It's like, will it require the DLC? Because, I mean, it's kind of what it looks like they're implying there, but, I mean, you never know. It could just be a free update like the original co-op was. We'll see. We'll see. Personally, I don't mind if they make it a free DLC. Well, yeah, I mean, because you're probably going to buy the chapter anyway, so just getting the online as a benefit would be nice. But, I mean, it does potentially limit the online player base. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. Well, I mean, bright side, you at least now have a thing to do. You can now gift. You can now gift me the new DLC for me. Uh -huh. I'm not begging. I swear. <laughs> I'm yeah, not begging. I, I also noticed the price is actually more expensive than last time. Last time it was four ninety nine, I think. Yes, it, it, then again, it's a pre order. Well, yeah, I mean, but then again, pre orders are usually, you know, if anything, cheaper, not more expensive. So I mean. Uh, I mean, you do have a little bit more content. Then again, yeah. and also. 50, 50 people, which is not like an easy, yeah. an easy thing to do. Well, yeah, but... I, I, yeah, I'd say, like, I can see why they did the price increase, because, like, you know, why the chapter itself, you know, like, I don't know how much bigger that would be compared to, you know, the, you know, like, the cruise one, whatever. Yeah. That one was actually pretty small, so, I mean, granted, you know, but, like, the majority of the content last time was Death Wish, and holy shit, there was a lot of content there, so. The price yeah, was honestly I... probably undervalued last time, so. And this, I you know, like, that. I think it's probably less content, but online definitely is expensive to maintain, so it would make yeah, sense. Yeah. I still have to finish the, the um, Death Wish mode. Yeah, I, I didn't go that far into it at all. You know, like, I did, like, one or two and just, like, nope, I'm out of here. I'm not going to say a damn thing. Yeah. I'm gonna, because it's hard as balls. Yeah. But yeah, and also, yeah, it's good to see they're keeping up the promise of both DLCs would be free for Kickstarter, so. Yeah, that, 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 that's pretty good. Yeah. But I'm still not gonna say no. Although, to I bet me. people are still gonna be so fucking pissed considering this only shows PC and everybody was so mad last time about Seal the Deal not coming to everything else. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, and like, also, yeah, they didn't show the Switch at all, and also there's a URL there, I just realized. Yeah, there is a URL there. It's in Humble Bundle and Steam. That's a kind of limiting. Well, I mean, the Humble Bundle obviously makes sense because they actually helped develop the damn game. Okay, yeah, and it looks like it actually goes to the Steam page. And yeah, it does say plus online party in the pre-purchase thing, so that does... I mean, it probably is part of the paid DLC, because the last time, whatever, it was actually listed as a separate DLC item. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, okay, so yeah, pre-order for an exclusive 4K wallpaper. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but... I mean, yeah, it's not the, a great benefit, but I mean, if you're already going to buy it anyway, I mean... It's like, it's still a nice benefit to have, or just, you know, buying it when it comes out and, you know... Mm. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Go ahead and post that link in the chat, looks like. Yeah. But yeah. And then, of course, yeah. at the very end, they had the whole merch thing. Mm hmm. That too. Which, yeah, what I find interesting is, like, the link to the show, I think it's actually not the same shop they've been using. Unless it just redirects there. Let me see here. Yeah, no, it's their own store now. Like, before they were using Fangamer. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. So, so what, what do we have here? Um, let me go ahead and put this into the stream here. Mm -hmm. So, we got a No Bonk Projectile button set, a Snatcher Compass button set, Mirror Nostalgia button set, Mumble fa and... F Faster Hatter button sets. All, all all the buttons are five bucks. Then uh, can I not scroll? 
in this window thing. <laughs> that kind of stupid, I guess. Okay, then uh, that doesn't work. Let me. Uh... So, are we um, watching the the new shop now? Well, yeah, we're just looking to see what the shop is. Uh, let me make sure I don't have anything open there. Okay, yeah. But I'm like, I gotta capture my browser. I hope there's nothing open. <laughs> mm. Can't let everyone know about my secret fetish of Wonder Bread. <laughs> it's funny. So it's um, someone that insane. So it just showing up as a black window. That's okay. Are you gonna go? Perfect. I mean, if you want me to go, I'll go. Hey, God damn it. Here. Of course, it's just gonna be like, let's not work at all. Good enough for me. Well, I guess I gotta do display capture, even though that's probably the wor worst thing to do, but. Mm. And Inception. Wait, 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 wait. We need, we need, we need to go deeper. Yeah. Boom! That's not how the noise goes, but okay. Okay, uh, that, so that, yeah. That, that, that just sounded like a, a, a really bad motorbike. Okay, yeah, so it's those button sets. Then we got sticker sets for 10 bucks each, whatever, which are some of the stickers actually in the game, and these look pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, that bow kid's sleep just so adorable. It's like, and by saying, yeah, that, that logo isn't an actual sticker, which honestly it kind of <laughs> should be, but but yeah, the mustache gold one's pretty good too. It's just like, sweetie, yeah. sweetie, I'm coming I, for I, that booty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. First yeah. moment I looked at mustache kids, I was like, mm. yeah, also, yeah, it's like, but that's like an even extra smug hack in there. Mm -hmm. It's just like the pow and thank you. And then yeah, this uh, one. I, I like I like that smug hat. Yeah. Uh, Murder. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. Numb. Also, the, the eyes on the noom is just great. <laughs> just like yeah, crust hat. Let's see, bow kid hearts. Bam. And then yeah, the plush plushie. This is the thing I was expecting. All like I heard. Okay, yeah, stickers, t-shirts, you know that kind of stuff. But just like a full-on conductor plush. So yeah, that's pretty damn good. It's good, it's good. I like it. Yeah. And then movie oh, poster. Oh. Also, I just noticed, the buttons actually say, like, buy at the Yeti and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this, basically, they're just, like, amalgamating different sources into one store. It's not that they actually aren't selling through those things anymore. And yeah, I misspoke. It was the Yeti, not Pan Gamer. I always get the two confused. But yeah, so you can just buy the AliExpress movie poster. And then yeah, some more buttons. That's a miss. And then Peck Neck shirt. Peck Neck. Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Oh, it looks like they're selling the scarf again. Because that, that was a limited time item. So it looks like just permanent now. Ooh. This is good. And then I'm the collector's not, box and all that stuff. I'm yeah. not a scarf person, but I want that. Yeah. And then, yeah, here's all the old merch they had. The classic. Yeah. So, yeah, essentially it looks like what they're doing is they're still selling most of the things through this, you know, the Yeti, but they essentially made their own shop links since the Yeti doesn't do the plushes, so they're doing that through IndieBox. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But, yeah, seriously, though, this no, plush looks thing. really damn good. Also, tail hanging out the back there. So, yeah. <laughs> pretty good yeah but yeah I will say all the plushes they could have made I wonder why they went with Conductor first also it looks like somebody just bought it the real time update thing down there <laughs> but yeah like it's like of all the ones they could have started with it's like I wouldn't have expected Conductor to be the very first plush you know like you know maybe Hat Kid maybe Snatcher you know yeah but I mean, I guess it makes sense, because I mean, you know, burbs, they're furry, you know, so makes sense for a blush. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so, we good. Although I will say it's interesting that they actually linked the thing on the, the Gears for Breakfast website, not the Hat and Time domain. 
<laughs> so it's like, I wonder if they maybe have plans. That would be cool. It's like, yeah, maybe they're already starting on the next game and they wanted to put the shop here, so, you know, for whatever next game, too. Because, yeah, right now, I just... Because, yeah, like, every air pass they always went to hadentime.com, not gearsforbreakfast.com. Yeah, see if they put anything up here, too. So, yeah, no, it looks like this is basically... They didn't update this website. There's even broken images. <laughs> See what they Perfect. said on Twitter. I just love that image. I was kind of afraid to look and see what people are saying on Twitter, but mm -hmm. let's see here. Of course, one of the very first things: please bring the DLC to consoles. But of course, yeah. <laughs> Battle Royale had time. <laughs> Battle Royale had time. Mini Battle Royale. Fifty player speed run. That would be amazing. <laughs> I wonder how well that would work because, like, you'd probably get in the way of each other quite a bit. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, though. Yeah. I mean, if you get at least a three-player speed run, yeah. that's good. That's brilliant. Yeah, I like how I bought a PC as a gift for someone I barely like, and then had time DLC comes out for PC as soon as I give a whole PC that I built away. Guess I'm too nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rip. Yeah, had time DLC, new Persona games. Just gotta say, what a time to be a fan of games. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I will say honestly, the Persona thing I'm eh, about because like. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of Warrior games to begin with, you know. So it's like it just being a Persona Warriors, you know, instead of the actual Persona 5 game on Switch. Eh. That would be nice. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, you know, like, it could be worse. But, like, yeah. It's like, it's just definitely not what I was wanting. <laughs> uh. Let's see, it looks I'm awesome, not. and what the fuck, 50-player multiplayer? That's a lot of peck necks. <laughs> oh, man. Just imagine the amount of hat kids just hounding over the conductor. Yeah, she is legit my daughter. Why won't y'all believe me? She looks badass. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, the Russian Slav thing right next to it. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, that's actually something I just thought about, like, um, you know, obviously there is mods for playable characters. I wonder if, you know, all those mods could work with a 50 player. So, I mean, you know, you could pl do playable conductor, playable mustache girl and stuff as some of the 50 players. Oh, man, if you only, if you only, if only you could. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it because, I mean, obviously, I, I'm sure all it would take would be a slight update to those mods to get it compatible to let you, you know. Because you, there's I mean, already going to be a player pick choice, obviously, so they would just probably need to add new entries to that, essentially. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you know, uh, it it could be it could be it could be um, also. I can't wait for the next hand time DLC after this one, where Hackett just gets a real gun. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, I will say, too bad that's probably not going to happen because they already said it's two DLCs and that's it. I mean, unless they change their mind, but. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate that the Switch version's release date was announced, meaning that when Hat Battle Royale comes out, I can't connect with everyone. Rip. Okay, yeah, so this is the person who made the Roombies Fun Factory mod. Yeah, Beyond mm -hmm. Honored, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then this website's always saying it turns into kind of an MMO. I'd... I mean, yeah. 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 It's like. Fifty people is not an easy thing, and if they manage to do it, it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I'm curious. Now that we can start our own games and had time since they have that as canon, <laughs> it's like yeah, we really got smug hat gang. It's like yeah, we really got smug hat gang. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I do find that interesting, though, because, like, what other game, like, you know, has, like, 50-player, you know, multiplayer for, like, a platformer? I don't think any of them do. No. Unless, technically, you count Mario 64 online, but even though that... Well, I mean, but that's a mod, like, you know, like, officially, kind of speaking, you know. <laughs> really looking forward to that Had in Time DLC. Same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See here. <laughs> that would be so cool. Yeah. But yeah, this uh, Ults definitely looks pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess that basically wraps it up. Like, I don't really know anything else could do. And we've been going for basically I mean, an hour or so. Yeah, we've, we've basically increased the attention span time thingy of the discussion by... Yeah. Tenfold? Yeah. But yeah, I, 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 yeah. I cannot math. Yeah. Honestly, I hope this ended up working out well, because, I mean, obviously, I wasn't paying attention to the stream that much during this, so, like, hopefully it wasn't, like, crashing nonstop. Yeah, I wasn't paying too atten to, to attention to the yeah. stream either. I was like, okay. Well, yeah, yeah and also, to... well, yeah, and this, also, this is the first time I've been recording at the same time, too, so I don't know, you know, how much that impacted it. Mm -hmm. Granted, you know, my PC is powerful enough it should handle it. You know, it's just the only reason I had crashes before was because trying to do a game plus everything at the same time. So it's like just mm -hmm. watching a video shouldn't be that big of a, you know, strain. But okay, yeah, I guess just gotta get off here then. Best thing showing up. Yeah, that, that would probably be best. Yep. Potentially, probably, maybe. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna off the voice chat. Yeah, I'm gonna sort off to we should probably play a game together. Which Yeah, yeah, we probably should probably... do it sometime. Yeah, yeah, should do it. yeah, uh you know, play a game that isn't no game. Yeah, but yeah, it's like I really do need to get back into kind of streaming shit because like the last time I did it was obviously, you know, when the DLC came out in September. And before that it was like May. So yeah. Long ago in a, in a galaxy not too far away. Yeah. It's been 84 years. It's been 3,000 years. Well, yep. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Or, or even if you yeah. play by yourself, I can just uh, be be beside you to come and, and say dumb shit. Yeah. Oh. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a lot better than just... Well, yeah. Know. I mean, that's part of the issue with streaming is like, you know, obviously if you're a small streamer, there's nobody in here. So it's like... Kind of just get bored really quick. Yeah, that, that that's kind of like uh, really uh, stinky. Also, do I need to comment how you just said you can play by yourself and I'll watch you? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You're. I will say a lot of things to you. Of course you will. Do you? Can you? Can you even? Is it even possible to like? Host for me to host your shit while you're streaming your shit. Uh, yeah, because of um, I'm trying to think what's the word. Uh, essentially, in your your own chat, not mine, but in your own, you would just type sl the forward slash host yeah. and, and then my name, my Twitch username. Right, right. Or if you had, you know, or a good person who actually has like FFZ or BTTV, there usually is an option to add a host button below the player. Yeah, but eh. And then, of course, there's also the other option of doing a raid, which, you know, is basically just flasher, but, I mean, accomplishes the same thing, and it's kind of useless if you don't actually have people in your stream. Because, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. basically, yeah, the only difference is raid basically redirects people to the other person's chat, but only yeah. if they show up, you know, they're already in the stream the second you do it, so. Understandably enough. Yep. Yeah, it looks like people just showed up, so I gotta get off here, I guess. Okay, that should be about it for me, too. Yep. So.